Hey everybody, this is Arathas and welcome back to Foundation. So, basically what we're going to do here is we are going to build that new church because this area is almost completely cleared out. So it seems like a good spot. Especially if I do decide to do residential in these two areas because it'll be bordering three residential areas. I feel like it'd be a good option. Uh, let's see. Since the end of the last episode, I basically... Let's pause that built a few more bakeries and so now we're up to a nice surplus of bread but we also have a nice surplus of clothing now so hopefully we can keep our people happy I think our biggest issue right now is the worship issue so yeah I need to just get a church built up here and yeah main reason I ended up doing a bit of stuff off camera is it was taking forever to clear these trees now that's essentially done. So yeah, should work. I also started selling planks again because if I sell planks, uh, some of the wood surplus will actually get wiped. And yeah, we can just keep cutting down the trees at a decent rate. Because I think that's what's going on down here is most of these dudes, their stuff is full. There's not much else they can do down here. That's why it seems like we're not cutting wood as, you know, quickly in our other anywhere, really. <laughs> oh, I also bought, <clears throat> forgot to mention that, I also bought a bunch of plots of land. Because I was thinking I wanted to build some fishing places along the coast here. So I bought these two plots of land. And then I bought every plot of land that contained any space on this island. Because, yeah, I just have it in my head that I want to make a large manor on this island. So, eh. That's what we're going to do. But first, the church. Because we do have to keep them happy. Red, blue. Let's start with red. Because I think a red roof church would actually really uh, kind of stand out here. Like, it'd stand out from the rest of my city. So I think what I want to do is I want to put let's look at like these arches and stuff. I do like the arches as kind of being walkways into like the church area. And I'm going to leave the market up in the middle of the church because why not? But I'm going to try to work with like the existing Oh, you're not going to let me do that, are you? Okay. Well, let's see. I can do a round tower. Can I make this arch bigger? I can. All right, so I'm going to do like a round tower. The reason I like the round towers as well is... Oh, dude. Is uh, they can let me expand in every direction, essentially. So... That looks pretty good. And yeah, I just kind of want to ex do some of these extensions out. Make kind of a wall set up here. Hmm. What other towers do I have? What's a big tower look like? Uh, it's just a big square. That. Doesn't even look like... Oh, it's a bell tower. Okay, gotcha. Let's see. Let's do... And, I, and while I'm doing this, all my people can just do their standard work. That's why I'm not pausing it this time. Extension B. Oh, I like extension B. But let's put a core... Over here. Because eventually, as we can see, the... A lot of the stuff has been removed. Not removed, but done. See, like... This stuff I can break down any minute now. I'm going to remove these. Uh, not because I have an issue with them, but... So I can try to... Extend out this way. No, oh, we're going to help the king. There you go. Have some stuff, king. Come on. I 
Extension B. How many connection? Oh, well, wait, 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 wait. I know extension B seems like an end cap, but it seems like it'd be very useful for expanding out at an angle. Now, I want this church to be relatively impressive. So I'm going to do that. Now, if I'd make extension A... I'm not so sure I like the look of that, though. Can I just build normal... Like, build tiny walls, like... That's yeah, actually not bad, but... One of the issues we're gonna run into with that is... It has to be somewhat close to an existing area, so... I'm gonna remove you guys. As much as I liked you, I'm gonna remove you guys. We're gonna put these on either side. Yep. And then we are going to do round towers. Yep. Come on. That looks about right. Now, extension A we should now be able to make this look more the way I was hoping to. Put two of those. Build a... Should build a tower and then some arches or... Hmm. I could build a big tower. Just to make this side look a bit more impressive and then an arch is basically being the entrance on this side hey hey just go in place thank you a big tower and yeah I'm, I'm gonna put the cores in so our people have room to worship here in a second in fact I probably should have done that like one of these spots let me take those out See about putting a core right here. Move this over a bit. Put like two cores side by side right there. Hmm, I can actually live with that. Okay. Then I will put another pair of cores here. And I can edit this at any time, so I'm not really worried about some of the other issues that might crop up. So let's go with... Where's our round tower? We need that to just stick up a little bit. And I kind of want to be future-proofed a bit in terms of, you know, how much how many people this can hold. So let's put in some doors. The place is worthless without any way for our people to get in. Okay. And yeah, I'm not gonna get super Uh, super focused on finishing this tower, this area off completely right now. I'm just going to get this constructed and go from there. Now I'll put some gargoyles up. Why not? There we go. I mean, granted, they're going in a bit randomly in what direction they face, which is fine. All right, you got to start construction of that church. This will make our people a little bit happier for now, and then I can just keep expanding it. But for now, you are gone, you are gone, and you are gone. Cool. Alright, this gives me a lot more room to work with in terms of 
what I am going to build. Okay. Oh, I have a bunch of people came in that were looking for work, so let's put them to let's put them to work. I, mean, I could assign some soldiers. Because I've essentially ignored every request for soldiers that the game has sent me. So yeah. <laughs> we'll just assign a bunch of them right now. Even after that, do we have unemployed people? Three. Okay. So I just need to throw some more jobs out there for them, which is fine. They're fine right now. We have a surplus of stuff. I'm not worried. Can I finally finish this? I can. Let's get that done, too. Let's get those bridges in place. I own this territory. I just haven't done anything with it. Now, the two woodcutter's huts up here, I'm going to keep them around, like, uh, I have the workers who are in them. I'm going to keep them, basically, in that job rather than take them out, uh, because at any point I can just do this and this, and they'll immediately go get those jobs. And then I can just extract, take all this crap. And we can clear all these trees out. So yeah, not a big deal. Uh, didn't get all the trees though, which could be a problem later on. Yep, 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 everything's, everything's to be extracted. And yeah, since I claimed these areas, I'm also going to put, after they're done with that, I'm going to put them down here, 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 and just have them, just have them go to town, frankly. That's coming along nicely. But yeah, see, church is definitely where my people are having issues. Okay. We'll also focus a bit, like, I don't want to focus on the manor right now. Because if we look at what we can actually add to the manor, we're still very basic... Uh, production items. We don't have a lot of stuff to throw at it, so I kind of don't want to. Know what I'm saying? I kind of want to wait till I get more stuff unlocked, which I imagine if I keep doing these quests, I'm going to keep getting stuff unlocked. And that's cute. I love that they think 100 gold is a good reward. It's like, man, I've got capacity is over 6 grand, and I'm hovering in the mid 5,000s, so nah, we good. So all our builders are relatively busy right now, so I think I'm going to focus them on our camps, just so our camps aren't just sitting around doing nothing. I mean, we have those foresters, well not foresters, lumberjacks that are really waiting to get back to work. Whoa! Those berries nosedived again, man. Am I trading way too many of them off? No, I'm telling them to keep at least 600. Well, it's time to stop selling them again. <laughs> and the bread's nose diving. What the f... Well, the bread will recover. The bread always does. But yeah, I need to set people up to, you know, start getting berries again. So, here we go. There are plenty on the Lord's Manor territory. Unfortunately, my people probably won't be heading over there to do anything about it for a while. Now, let's see. Where is the envoy? Where is the envoy? There he is. I'm not going to drop a house on you, dude. Uh, war is coming. We are prepared and we'll... Actually, we're not that prepared and we'll be happy to have some helping hands, ideally with swords or axes. How about sending some of your troops to our aid? I get one free territory. Uh, you know what? 
Knock yourself out. I can't give you guys berries, sorry. I said five soldiers to, it just says city name. Territory. Ah, uh, you didn't give me free territory, man. Did you lie to me? Or is it like a randomly chosen... Oh, you'll get a free territory. The one we, we, we give you. You don't get to pick it. Which would be some bull, but... Eh. <laughs> Wow, I need 166 tools to finish the church. Well, I did make it all out of the higher grade materials and stuff, so yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Open mission, oh. Yeah, knock yourselves out, go. Soldiers are regrouping, cool, go. Help our allies. At least I hope there are allies. <laughs> but yeah, I need some fish for the whole community to have more food stuffs. Like this one's just selling fish and clothing. Fish and clothing. Bread and clothing, okay. <clears throat> Berries and bread. I would like to actually change that to fish, but meh. Like, I'll start adjusting some of these areas to have a wider variety of food. We just don't have that option right now. And until this stuff is built, I don't really have the option of uh, sending people out to you know, build fishing huts. Right now, I feel like throwing people at the berry jobs is probably going to be my best bet. Oh, yeah, let's let's authorize this entire island for extraction. Basically, every territory I currently own, you can exploit the entire area. Whatever. The resources are there for us. And I know, I can just do this to make this a lot easier. Wow. Don't need to zoom in that far. Thank you. Huh. Yeah, there's no reason to not, like, have your entire territory set to extraction unless you want to salvage some trees. Which, I mean, there's nothing wrong if that's what you want to do. It's just... Yeah. I'm going to throw a well right here. I don't think I need to put markets in here. Unless I want this to turn into like a residential area. But I think this should be the home of our uh, new fisherman. Should be right along this water right here. Let's make sure... <laughs> Let's make sure I build them facing the right way this time, huh? I think I'm going to put like four... Two on each side of the bridge. And then I think I'm going to authorize this for uh, residential as well. I mean, currently not. Our people aren't really happy with this area, but we'll put some stuff in there to make them happy. Yeah, they don't want to live there, which is understandable. But they do want to live next to the church, so... Far be it for me to say no to that. Just don't build inside the church, alright guys? Hey, my people are back. Do I get my free territory? No. Hmm. Uh, so we're lacking food is the problem right now. It's a huge problem right now. Again. <laughs> I need a farming community again. I mean, we have the berries going, but it's not great. But since we did now get our free territory, uh, we need to find a place to build a farming community, another farming community. 
Now, this seems like a good enough spot right here. I mean, it's going to require a lot of wood cutting, but it's right there next to our other fields. It seems like it'd be a good fit for, you know, for extraction. No, uh, extraction, sorry. It'd be a good fit for, like, food production. So we can get the fishermen producing instantly. Alright, well, two of them producing instantly. I need a warehouse. Because if I have a warehouse, like, set up right here and tell it, you know what? You can store fish and berries in here. Because I am probably going to put some fishing huts around the edge here. It should work out for us. Okay, so the food issue is slowly resolving itself. So very slowly. And I'll probably harvest these berries soon as well. Yeah, like, I left these alone thinking, you know, who needs the extra berries, but evidently I do. So I should try to harvest every berry zone I can. It seems to be the way it goes. But I also need to do some fisherman huts. Like, I got all this coastal areas. I should very much be putting them to use, I think. So we're just basically planning for the future here. This isn't necessarily... You know, I'm not necessarily filling all these spots right this second. As I get the people, though, yeah. So this one's got three. I think it could fit more. I think we'll put a fourth fishing hut here. And we got two right here. Four here. I'm just trying to figure out what the optimal level is going to be here. So three, four, just two. I don't think that's even the same. Well, it is the same territory. But it's kind of cramped in there. I'd hate the appearance of having, like, like I could go nuts and just do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But I'm not going to do that. Hey, berries are coming around, finally. But since we are now aware of the dangers of not exploiting every bloody food source, I think I'm going to put two of you huts here. I don't want to put any over here because I feel like the wheat is more important. So I think what we're going to do is this one's going to get an overload of three. I guess it's not an overload. The game's fine with that. I'll put like three over here. And we're going to put in a stone cutter camp right here because you never know when we're going to need a lot of stone. And I kind of like just planning ahead so all my resources are, you know, being exploited. Cool. More fisher huts are being done. We got some more villagers that can just go right to work. And yeah, as I just get these people, they're just going to get shuffled off to work various locations. Oh, dude, you're done already. Okay. Uh, let's bulldoze this. New tier of unlockables. Did they? No, they did not. Oh, I can unlock a monastery now? An herb garden? An apiary? Oh, that's coming soon. It's not ready yet. Alright, alright. So now we need to build a monastery at some point. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Did I get new normal structures to build, though? Oh, well, there's the coal hut. Okay. So, yeah... I think we're getting close to the end of what the game currently has to show. However, I'm going to keep building for a little while just because I very much enjoy this game. 
I don't think this is going to be the final episode. We still have to make a, you know, we still have to make the monastery. I still want to build a nice sized keep. Nope, I'm keeping it all. I don't have enough fish to give you, dude. Um, we still have to build a nice sized keep. We still have to finish that church because that's not, you know, the end church right there. I want it to be, you know, I want a complete church. So, yeah. We are far from done. My next group of people should probably come in here, though. Berries. Berries. Fish and fish. I just want a place where I can stockpile all this stuff. Because there's going to be a lot of that around here. Not villager list. Let's go to workplace list. Add a few more market uh, fishermen, actually. Might actually get rid of the soldiers, because right now they're not really helping me. And I didn't get much from sending my troops out. I really didn't. I have much better uses for them here. Can I just do what I normally do with this and just go... Yeah, because... Territory is not super expensive for me, so there's really no reason for me to really take on these quests of like, hey, here, have have troops so I can get a free territory. It's like, dude, I got the money. I can just buy the territory. Yeah, I can't really add anything to this. That's a shame. Either way, it's a nice, nice looking area, though. So, ev nobody's lacking church, but a lot of people are starting to lack food. Oh, and clothing's dropping. Really? Thank you. Thank you for that game. <laughs> I'll fix it. Put at least one in every foraging or gathering hut, I guess. And just get that, get all these producing that we can do an overload of berries to keep everybody fed. Now the new territory. Are you chopping wood? Yeah, you're taking this out. Now the new territory to be harvested is gonna be over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and build a lumber camp here. No, I probably should just build them in the thick of the trees, huh? Because, yeah, we have the three lumberjacks now free from this. So they can go work whenever they whenever they please. So, yeah. And when this guy's done here, I'll just bulldoze this. And, yeah, and then he'll head over there to do the same. I feel like building a market over here would not be a bad idea. I think I'm gonna do a food right here on the edge, like right next to the church. Probably frowned upon in some way, but you know what, I don't care. Because if I do this and then do start construction, I can then go over here and then I can paint residential because they'll wanna live all up in this area and they can live all along the church. Yeah, see, how's already moving in. They like this area, they like this place. They'll probably like this place too once I build some stuff like that up here. So yeah, I should probably just get on that too. Build it somewhat in the center, like we usually do. All right, just build it up here. And goods, and then food. Start construction. Also, give me a well. Put like right here. Whoa! No! No! Not you! Not you! Not you! Go away! 
All right, we're gonna put another will. I think this one will just be like at the, be like right here. And then I think our markets, our next market is gonna go over here. Gonna go ahead with goods. And then just a pair of food stalls on this side. Catch the people going on to and off the bridges, right? Location, location, location. <laughs> All right, cool, all that's getting built. At least one of these dudes is gonna be going to town chopping wood. You done? Yeah. I just don't have enough woodcutters to man that right now. Guess what? That problem is now fully resolved. You guys are now gonna go work over there. Excellent. Two new villagers. I can use them. Uh, let's go berries and fish since we're this close to the water. Well, I don't have enough market tenders, but that's fine. I also can go ahead and after these markets are done, I can also authorize... Um, housing upgrades again. I just kind of stopped because, you know, I didn't really have the people for it. <clears throat> yeah, I don't mind if they live in proximity to the church as long as you're not on that church property. The interior of the church, I have other plans for it entirely. Nope, I don't care if you're requesting an audience. I am audienced out. Cool. So now it's clothing and food again, but the food issue is gradually getting resolved. So yeah, I think this is definitely a good farm, a good piece of farmland. And this right here, I think can do, to deal with the clothing issue coming up, I think it's going to need to be sheep farms, another tailor, another weaver, fish, and then just housing in the middle. I think it'll work out just fine. But we de <coughs> excuse me, we definitely need to catch up on population first. We are not in a good spot population wise. Like to man all of our all the positions that we have. So yeah, I could deactivate to help the food issue and all the other shortages. I could deactivate immigration. And I might after Um All of our current jobs are filled, minus the soldiers. Deactivate immigration and then just get this prepared for farms and this prepared, like cut all the trees. So we're not getting a constant influx of people before we can handle the infrastructure for said people. And like right now, I think before I assign people to market tenders, um, I really should fill the, like, gathering posts and stuff like that. So yeah, we'll see. Kinda depends on how many people we get. Cause yeah, I can assign market tenders right now. We have plenty of open slots for them, but um, considering the food shortage, I should probably get the gathering huts full first. Cause yeah, 34 villagers lacking food is not good for us. That's for sure. The sheer amount of money I have, I think it's time to actually use it as well. So, who sells food? You're selling bread. Huh. Fish is expensive. I ain't buying fish. Let's try to put this up to, like, buy bread until we have, like, 150. That way we can maintain a minimum 150. 
I think we're fine selling all above 200 of clothing. Yeah, tools are fine. Selling above 400 stone is fine. Uh, nope, I'm keeping all the fish. Sorry, I don't need I don't need anything from you right now. Okay. Did we get new new people? I didn't know if I got the notification. Yeah. Yeah, I know I was gonna fill these up, but that was the first thing I saw, so I put them in market tender. How things going up here, guys? It's extracted. Yeah, it's got the extraction zone. Ah, I keep forgetting when I build some of their areas. I keep forgetting that they probably don't want to travel too far for water. I don't need to put a market in here now because for now they can just walk themselves over here. It's not a huge deal. I just want them to clear cut that whole area so I can just, yeah. To be fair, down here I can also start putting in like, what's it called? Um, the sheep farms and the fishing huts and stuff already. Our people will just, you know, destroy them, destroy the trees as they go. So I should probably just go ahead and be like, all right, put the well down dead center. Put the market combo. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, nope, I messed that up a little bit because I don't know where the um the well actually is. No clue whatsoever. It's in here somewhere. Now the reason I'm not putting any markets or anything over over here is I'm not planning on ever allowing residential contact on this island. This is my my home, not theirs. <laughs> Greedy? Yes. All right, you built the well. Nice, you're building the new houses. Food is improving. Excellent. We just had a nasty nosedive, that was all. It is being resolved. More foragers would be nice. A villager is leaving due to unhappiness. You know what? That's fine. I can replace you. I know a lot of you guys were unhappy because of how long we went without food. It's understandable. However, it looks like, you know, Looks like we're fixing that. It looks like also our biggest issue with bread. We need another bakery at least and another mill because we have so much wheat stockpiled. So that's probably what I'll put up here, honestly, or over here because it doesn't look like the farm ever extends to the edge here. That seems like another option for, I'm gonna put in two because we have such a surplus of wheat. I think I'm gonna put in two windmills. And we're gonna go with one bakery in between the windmills. Like push it forward a little bit like this. And see what happens to our production. Now let's see what we're also f lagging behind on. Okay, we have plenty of cloth. So we probably don't even need more wool production. What we probably need are just more tailors. And I could fit them like right here would be a perfect spot for some tailors. Well, I take that back. That's a ways away from the nearest sheep farms. Although, that's not far from a sheep farm right there. So I'd put at least one tailor just kind of squeeze this right here. And then because I do have room, 
down in this area. I'll throw one here. It's not going to hurt him to go collect some stuff. Okay. So I think that'll help the shortfall of clothing and bread a bit. Granted, stuff needs to be built first, but hey, I think it'll work. Either way, though, this is all the time I have for today. So thank you, everybody, so very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video at all, then please, by all means, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, or any combination of those actions that suits you today. And with that, I'll see you guys next time for some more Foundation. Thanks again for watching.